welcome to my third video in this series about jeans. Okay, so in this video what we're going to focus on is the 23rd chromosome, um, which is the sex chromosome. So as you probably remember from um, the last video, um, you get one of each chromosome from each parent. So um, on the list of 23 that you have here, one of these will have come from your mother and the other one will have come from your father and it's the same with all of the chromosomes and the same is also true with the um, 23rd or the X and Y chromosome. Now in this PowerPoint this shows us a key difference between the um, the X and the Y chromosome. What you'll notice with the X is it's a lot longer so there appears to be a lot more genetic information um, on the X chromosome than there is on the Y. Now like I said before one of each chromosome comes from each of your parents and the same is true um, with the 23rd or the sex chromosomes. Now this is the code that determines whether you're either um, a male or a female. So in this case um, XX is the female and XY is the male. So therefore if XX is the female then the only chromosome that the female can give across is the X and it's the male that is the one that actually determines the sex of the offspring. So with the male, the male can either give across X or Y. So it's in fact the male that determines um, the sex of the offspring. Uh, so this Punnett square diagram shows us um, the different permutations that are possible. So down here this represents the female and along here this represents the male. Obviously because this is, these are the sperm and these are the eggs. Now what you notice here is this and this, these are both X chromosomes because they're the long ones and hence the sex of the offspring is female. But this one, however, you have one X chromosome and one Y, hence male. Here as well, you have two X's, hence female, and on this one, an XY and therefore male. In the general population, there is an even split of um, sperms carrying the X and carrying the Y chromosome. Um, in reality, I believe there's rel I think there are more females on the planet than there are males, um, but generally speaking, there is an even distribution of X carrying sperm and Y carrying sperm. You'll notice that all egg cells must carry the X chromosome, and it's on the Y chromosome that there is a gene that basically determines that the embryo will turn into a male. So if you receive two X chromosomes, therefore there isn't this gene present and therefore the embryo continues to develop as a female. In summary, the 23rd chromosome is the sex chromosome and of course you get one chromosome from your mum and one from your dad. Um, in the case of your mother, she always donates the X chromosome. Your father can either donate either the X or the Y, so in that respect it's always the male sperm that determines the sex of the baby. On the Y chromosome there is a gene that causes the embryo to develop into a male. So if there is no Y chromosome present, this will cause the embryo to develop into a female. 